All right, we are currently back at the other, the site that I found with my kids the other day. I am here to scavenge. I've been scavenging these tiles because they might actually be usable or useful for something. So I've got a couple right here in my vehicle. And I'm going to be getting some more here, so we're going to see what all we can scavenge from this place. It is Saturday, May 6th, in the evening or afternoon, early evening. And I have just come back to Camp Freedom 2 with some items I salvaged. If you can see it, it is kind of a mess. Um, and I notice... Our rocket stove is missing. Here it is over here. I thought someone had taken it. But it appears to have been moved. And I'm willing to bet it didn't move on its own. It was sitting here yesterday. We had just, um, we had watered it and cleaned it. So it's over there. Could have, I guess the wind could have blown it down, but I don't think so. I think an animal came and got it. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Water catchment is dry. The storage has still got some water. Let's see if our little friend came in back. I don't see anything there at all. Just the nest still. I don't know if it's um, been chased away because of the um, the paper towel roll that fell the other day. Anyhow, I have salvaged some items. It looks like this table, although I cut myself here. I'm trying to load it up there. There's also the loose screws and stuff. I think I got my tetanus shot. I think it's updated. But you can see the vehicle's full of junk. I tried to tie things down somewhat without being too tight. Um, and it is packed with junk. This is stuff I salvaged. Um, I have, um, I gotta untie all this before I try to open this up, but there's like a bunch of tiles and other stuff in here too that I've salvaged that we might be able to use for the yurt. At least that's the plan. So, the yurt might actually have some fancy floor. 